welcome to episode 10 of my Let's Play Survival series. I can't quite believe it's 10 episodes already, but there you go. Doesn't feel like I've got an awful lot done, although the market did take a fair amount of off-camera work uh, as well as on video building. But today we're going to start one of the larger projects that I've uh, been planning for a while and talking about for probably longer, and that is the Chamber of Commerce. It's going to go up here, um, we're going to have a sort of plaza area and then the building itself. So there's going to be a, an amount of uh, filling in and terraforming to do. I'm really hoping though that right now I've got enough stone, yeah, definitely got enough stone, um, and I've got a bit of dirt to be getting on with as well. Uh, I'll just put my hat back on. And, uh, and we can at least mark out and then see where it needs filling. So where's the middle of this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That might actually be a problem because the building itself is going to have to have an even fascia for me to have a double door. So... We'll take it from here and then it will just have to be slightly offset and don't really want to go down so we're going to have to build up and I'm thinking um, somewhere like here is going to be uh, where the doors go. So pop those in in stone for now make myself some more stone bricks and then we've got the doors and we've got one two three on that side the variety of blocks is just so that I can keep the plan in my head of what I'm actually looking for and then one two three four five six along there and one two three four five six along here and then it will turn obviously it won't go up and down like this this is just so that I know the shape of the fascia so that's the sort of doorway area and then these will come out a little and be a sort of covered archway thing um, and then we're gonna have a couple of wings coming off the back as well so that's one two three and then one two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine and this should take us back to here. Three there and oh, thank you grass. Then we'll just run it all the way along here until we get to uh, this row. Where are we in relation to that? We've gone far too far. Okay, so that will be the other corner, hopefully. If I've got that in the right place. That's... Yes, and then I'll put the other wing on after I've had a sleep. So as you can see, the, the floor plan's reasonably large. I've based it from a... Uh, a, te a town. A house in the village I grew up in it uh, it was a bit of an odd house it didn't really fit with the rest of the uh, architecture in the area I think it was built in the 20s or something um, and it was it, it was quite grand but still quite boxy at the same time and uh, it somehow yeah, it had these wings and, and you know, we all knew it was posh because it had a swimming pool but um, it just, you know, the, the house is across the road from it, a little uh, one-storey 
sort of retirement homes and uh, I mean they did come later to be fair it probably had a lot more grounds but it also had this sort of uh, crenellation um, around the edge of the roof the roof was kind of inset um, where am I going with this completely the wrong way this is what happens when I try and walk and talk I completely forgot to turn the corner and just carried on going. do apologise. Right, let's get round here so I can get out again without too much fuss. And then from here we go one, two, three back. And you go there and I'll pick these up, thank you very much. Two, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and then we turn that corner hopefully these will be the same size one two three have i actually got that right i think i have there we go so that's kind of the uh the layout although it will be up at this level now I might just uh, sort of flatten that out and leave it as basement area, it might come in handy. Um, on the other hand, I might just fill it in, I'm not too sure yet. Um, I, I suspect I'll, I will leave it for now and just light it up. So that's only gone two in on that side and I've taken it three in on this side so it needs to go here. I knew I'd have done something wrong. Come on. There we go, and then I can claim these ones back at least. I'd better check that this one's in the right place too. Yeah, that one looks okay. So that's me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Yeah. Right. Well, that's roughly what I had in mind, and, and what we'll have is a a main sort of entrance hall and a staircase and then one of these will be a sort of uh, reception area and one will be an office or a meeting room or something and then upstairs we'll have some more offices as well um, maybe a little bit of a, a patio area on top of these these two side bits um, will be half the height they'll be one story high and this will be two so hopefully um, we can get some real progress done on this so i'm going to bring the uh the level up to floor at least and uh and then i think i'll come back because this this is going to take a little bit of working out yet so i'll uh i'll see you in a wee while okay then let's go and see how we've got on so i think i've got the uh the layout just a about how I want it. Um, this will be the main entrance and the floor level. So if it is going to be a basement, it's going to need to get uh, dug down a fair bit. There's a hole over here. Um, and we don't want that there. But yeah, this is um, pretty much the, the shell as it will appear. Um, rising out of the ground there and let's just get a way out because I've just destroyed it there we go um, and I've put these in just because these were in the way I might make these into a, a water feature or a garden or I might just fill them in um, we'll see how we get on so the main bulk of, uh, of the build here is going to be stone which is why I've put bricks down um, and then I will sort of come in and fill in um, gaps if you like uh, make them look a bit more mixed up just like I have uh, in a lot of places already um, you may have noticed in the outro to the last video that I, uh, I did the same in the little nether place that we built last time out so um yeah hopefully it'll 
it'll it'll work i think it'll be enough texture but we still want it to be quite a smooth looking uh, well tended building um this this is going to take a while to to pull up though i think i want to be using uh, the silky pick for this job actually now i think about it um and we're going to need an awful lot of stone bringing over because like i say this thing is going to be quite tall as well so let's just get a few layers of this put on and stand back and have a look and then uh, i'll come back once i've got the main shell up i think and uh, and we can work on some details together because i don't want this to turn into just you watching lots and lots of grey blocks go down i don't think that'll be much fun for anybody so yeah similar to how it is here um i might uh, try and keep the stone brick on the bottom for the foundation as much as possible and then here and there there'll be uh stone bricks in the the plain or the smooth stone wall um although there will of course have to be some windows and things in here as well let's take these ones out and pop them in give a slightly better idea of what i'm thinking yeah i think that's going to work quite nicely um i also think that it's going to be quite a long job so there may well be a lot of uh, jump cut action in this uh, particular video so i'll get a few more layers of this put on and uh, and get back to you in a little while so as you can see we've made a fair bit of progress and i think it's probably time to start putting some details in i did raise the floor up in the end it uh, it, it would have been more work to dig it out and do something useful with it so uh, I went for the easier option because I can be la lazy sometimes if I want to okay so we'll need some stone brick and some polished andesite that won't be enough but um, it'll do for a start and I want this to be here and down here and this is going to form the sort of um, archway idea that I was talking about earlier now I know I put some andesite in here see there was a purpose for me making one of those in the intro um, and then how many I've left three there really wanted to leave four but never mind actually it might work better this way anyway you haven't put that on have you and we'll bring that across come on pay attention and across here not much to look at right now but it will get better promise and then actually we'll bring that across there as well so this will be a kind of arched entrance way and let's see i think i put some stairs in here as well didn't i it would be nice if we could do more kinds of stairs but these will do for now no nope, not like that they won't and pop them in the corners and then we're gonna have to go and sleep again because that seems to be my perfect timing every time now i do want this to be quite clean lines but that is very boxy more boxy than i thought it would be might need to come up one more um yeah i'll sleep and then i'll fix that and we'll come back yeah i'm honestly not sure which one i like better i think i i'm leaning towards this one because it's a little bit thinner um but at the same time i kind of did want that curve let's see what that curve looks like that stair rather can't really call it a curve 
No, you see, I think that's part of the problem. I think that's bringing it in too narrow. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Let's let's mirror it on this side and see if we can't make it. Uh, see what see what it looks like when it's all the same. Um, and a site there and there, and those there. Actually, yeah, that that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I think I'll leave these thicker. Actually, I think quite like that. And um, let's plug that hole up there. Or do we want that? No, I think we do want that one to be a stair. Like that. Yeah, I think that will do nicely. Yeah. Okay, I'm all right with that. Right, so oh, it's getting dark again. I'm glad I've moved bed over here. So the next step is going to be sorting out maybe where the windows need to go. Um, I feel like it should have two very large windows on this side. Um, and maybe that front area of, of the hallway will be a sort of um, a double height room. So a lot of this is going to come out. Uh, let's see, we've we got one, two, three, four, five. Do I want it five wide or three wide? We'll try three because if it's going to be quite tall, we're going to want some uh, space to play with. Is there a sheep in there? Oh, for goodness sake. You get everywhere, you lot. Let's see. Yeah, I think that works quite nicely. Um, I'm going to take these out and replace them with the stone brick as well, because then I can just bring this up. I think that will be the uh, best way to deal with this height issue. Not the best way to deal with the sunflower issue, though. Okay, so again, on two, three, four, five, so it's going to be these. And we'll do something a bit more interesting with the top of the window. When we get up that high. Okay. If I'm filling that in, then this also needs to be a brick. I want the the top, the top, the bottom layer, the opposite of the top layer, um, that's showing to be brick. Yeah, you have it edged in brick, but uh, then it'll get a bit more mixed up as it goes along. So maybe make that one brick. Um, and yeah maybe that one there's not a lot of room to play with with the windows being where they are so yeah that's that's starting to look like I imagined it and then over here we should have three, four, five, six, I do apologise for the amount of counting that's been going on today. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, do we want two wides there and there? Or do we want a run of one wides? I think twos might work the best just for balance. Right, if I take this down I might actually be able to see better and fill a bit of this in as well with what we've got okay yeah I think that's going to work quite well yeah I'm liking that 
I am liking that a lot. And I think around these as well, we should probably have brick make it look a little bit more finished around the edges. Yeah. One there. Actually, no, let's take that one out there. And there. And we'll pop a stone back in here. Because like I say, we don't want it too uniform. In the back of this, we'll, we'll have to get a lot more detailed because it will have uh, stairs against it. So I won't be able to put any windows there. Um, yeah, we'll bring that little uh, sort of slab, stony area thing out a bit more in a minute. So here, the windows will... Did I start them at the same level as the front ones? I think I did, yes. So these will go... Is it one, two... No. It's that one. And then that goes there. And then we took them up three, I think. There we go. How's that look? That looks pretty good. And let's take them out and come on, there we go. And we'll have maybe one up there. And why not that one as well? Unless of course I can't get it up there. Right. And hmm, that one. Come on, there we go. And that one there. So that gives you a kind of idea of the uh, the texture I'll be going for as well. Okay, so I. I think there's not much more we can do now until we put the glass in and uh, yeah I'll work on this a bit between episodes um, I'll see if I can, can't get the shell up at least um, and then maybe do the roof in the next episode or something but uh, really all there is left to say now is thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>